Hey everyone, how are you doing? We're at a heavy petting zoo. Oh. Heavy petting zoo. Okay, and I am going to show you how to do a Swedish shove it. So, the first step is to um, know how to do a normal shove it, as in a um, nolly shove it for you nitpickers out there. <laughs> So, um, when you do a normal shove it, nollie shove it, um, you know it's basically just a pivot and halfway through you decide to just jump back. So like when you're 90 degrees, you, your body jumps back and your board automatically finishes the 180 degrees and you land it. Um, well for a Swedish shove it, it's basically the same principle, yet the balance is different because you will be standing on one foot when you make the shift. Wow. <laughs> it's a penis! It's a penis! Foot placement! So, um, with a normal shove it, you will have your feet like this, so you can make the turn. Since we are going to be balancing on one foot, you want to have your front foot on the truck. And you want to have it at this specific place that you can still balance on it in one foot, but also make it tilt like this. At a certain point, you feel like, yeah, this is a good moment to do my Swedish shove it. So what you do is you take your back foot and you hook it under the board. And then you make the turn. Uh, the difficulty that you might have with, it, uh, with this trick is um, your, your balance. Um, with a normal shove and all the shove, your uh, center of balance is in, well, in the middle of your body because you're standing on two legs. But you're doing this on one foot, so the balance shifts on this side of your body. So you, you have to get used to it. If you're not used to it, maybe you can just, you know, ride your board um, just a few times on one foot. Take your foot off and look like a retard. Anyway, it's, it's good to, for getting used to it. So, um, uh, when you're uh, ready to do the trick, you take your foot off and you might be inclined to just kick the board. Uh, don't do that. <laughs> uh, you end up with a sore foot. Don't kick it, just let your foot take the board with you. And as with an ollie shove it, when you're halfway through, you just jump back, land it. That's it! That's it! Remember to do the turn with your whole body. So don't just eh, statically just kick the board. You have to make, you have to be sure that you turn with your whole body. Otherwise, um, the board will not make the 180 degrees. You should just make make the whole turn with your whole body. And that's uh, that's how you do it. Just do it. Make your dreams come true. Just do it. Okay, so that's it. Um, have fun with the trick. Um, thank you, Yella, for filming. And um, I don't know, su uh, subscribe if you want to see more stupid trick tips. And um, yeah, uh, see ya.